Hello Stamper! Welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up and today I'm going to share how to do a frame, a framing with the crystal, um, watercolor crystal. This one here I use the Bermuda Bay Green Apple, Granny Green Apple and then the Melon Mumble. We're going to switch it a bit and we're going to use different color and I'm going to post both card finish. So before I attach the one that we're going to do today, I left this one here so I can share out to peel it up and then how we're going to stamp it. It take a while to dry so I cannot, uh, you know, do one and stamp right away. So this is painter's tape here. You can see it's by Duck. It's called painter's tape. You can have that at like Walmart, uh, hardware store, so on. Also, another thing that you can use, it is washi tape. I wanted something a little bit wider. When you peel it up, it's very important to leave it flat. So I'm going to peel it. And if you see, I keep my tape down. I don't lift it up. I keep on just unroll it down. It could maybe tear a little bit of paper, but that should do the trick. If you um, want to save a penny or two, you can unroll that, use it again. I won't use it again at this time. Then I'm going to do the other one, and we're going to, on this paper it comes easy though, but again, I peel it up at the beginning. Here, i just going to go flat. See, I keep this flat and I just pull, pull. So then I'm going to have a lovely frame. And the grid paper that I'm using, I'm going to have all supplies on my blog. The grid paper, it's by Stamping Up. Any grid paper would make this technique super, super friendly. And I absolutely love this grid paper because we get all measurement. One side we get the metric, one side we get the English. I think that's how it say the inch, right? So inch or centimeters, we get both. Et voila! How cool is that? So now we got a perfect, what I call, frame. And you see it didn't come any on the side. And I'm going to share how to do that. So we're starting with a piece of watercolor paper that measure five by three and three quarter. I'm going to put it right here. It doesn't matter where you're going to put it. Uh, you want to align it with your line, so that's going to make it a lot easier. I'm going to take my tape, my painter's tape, depend on why you want it. I want half inch, so half inch it's two square. So I'm going to bring that. I like to start with just a piece like this. I'm going to start that right here at my two square. Put that straight there. And then if you come here and you look at your two square down and then press this down. This is the trick here where you press it down so the water won't go under. So make sure it's flat. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other end. And if you see, I leave quite a bit of space. That's quite a bit, but you want to have enough space so when you start pulling, then you can bring it down so it will not uh, it will not peel the uh, watercolor paper. Now I'm going to line that over here. Press it down. Make sure the edge is pressed down. And we're going to do that on each side. So then we got our frame and we can start the party with the crystal effect. The uh, watercolor, uh, yeah, watercolor sprinkle. Again, bring this down. And then I'm going to come here and we're going to go to, uh oh, I did something wrong. Some of it I count two from the top, some of it count two from the bottom, some try to see, yeah, I think I got it both sides. Okay, let's hope so. It's important to, oops, here I'm not straight. You want right at the line and right at the line. 
Oh, this is not. Okay, I'm going to go one, two, right here. I went on this side there. I better keep there. So remember which way you're going. That looks straight. So now I got my perfectly um, um, frame. Now I'm using my uh, aqua painter here. And I just water inside. And I'm going to go ahead and put water on this. I just cover the water. Now this one here, we're going to go wild. I'm going to use Gorgeous Grapes. Very little of that because Gorgeous Grape, it's dark. And I'm going to spread this here. And you see some speckle of blue. That's normal to have the, the grapes color. Now I'm going to use some yellow um, right here. It's easier to add some than remove some, so remember that. And I'm just going to go in this direction here. We can, Like I said, we're going a wild frame here. And then I'm going to use my melon mumbo. Ooh, I didn't pay attention. I thought I was putting pepper on my food there. That's okay. We're going to do something here. Let me uh, take this here. I don't know what I was thinking, to be honest. I, yeah, I was putting pepper on my food. Let's leave it at that. Okay, now I removed some. going to push that aside there. And I kind of like that, to be honest, because I'm using the um, um, the stamp set, um, the dandelion with that. I think that's going to be cool. Now I'm going to... Here we go. Okay. Right now it looks kind of blah, but wait when we stamp on that. It's going to make a big difference. So this one, you're going to have to come on my blog below. I get the direct link. You're going to see how it's done when it's dry and stamped. So let's remove this. Now we will do the one that I just showed you. I like to work with my stamparatus when it comes with watercolor paper and I just stamp on it. The reason for that is I can have um, a good impression. I like to put my uh, stamp uh, case in the back of this so it leaves this flat, make it easier. I like to stamp in the corner. It is no right and wrong. Very rare that I use the magnet. I just like to stamp in the corner so then when I go a few times, I just push it there. I know it's straight at all times. I'm using the dandelion, the one with the little um, seed pod going in the air. I'm going to put that right here. And then I'm using um, sending a well wish your way. And I'm going to put that straight down here. And then I'm going to close this. Okay. Now... To see, let's see if I get a water. Uh, usually, I like one second. Okay, I got a clear envelope here because I could reach that quick. What I'm going to do, i just going to see if this is straight. So, um, I'm going to use the memento ink here. We can use stays on too. It doesn't matter. Stays on or memento, whatever that you prefer. And I'm going to, that I know it's in the corner, so on. I'm going to stamp that here first, see if I'm straight. Et voila. Now I know that I'm straight. This here, you can just wipe that. So you can use those clear envelope or you can use um, a window sheet. Usually I keep a window sheet with this, but I didn't bring it out. So now that I know it's straight, that's the best way, you know, before you decide to do your stamping, especially with words, like flowers, I don't mind. They can be sideways, I don't mind. But words, I want them straight. Now I'm gonna press this down. And I'm going to do that quite a few times because I want to bring that very dark. So I'm going to come back. 
see how it changed completely make sure it's all back in the corner the look after that you stamp so that purple and yellow and uh, mambo there it's gonna look very very um, different when it's all stamped now I'm gonna do it so two three times uh, my paper move a little bit maybe but that's perfectly fine you're gonna see why are you not using the uh, uh, the magnet it's just an habit of mine I just like to go in the corner and then I'm good et voila see how bright that is oh let's not close that on that See, very, very lovely and bright. Oh my goodness, that's the thunder. I don't know if you heard that. I don't know if I want the black. I don't know if that's going to make too much of a frame. I got it ready. And then I got Bermuda Bay in the back. Yes, I want the black. It brings everything to life. So now, you're just going to mount that together. Inside, I'm going to stamp... Uh, here we go. Inside, I will stamp one of the, here we go. Let me bring this and I will stamp it in Daffodil Delight. And I don't want the full dandelion, so I'm going to stamp that. Let me bring a scrappy paper here. And we, I'm going to stamp that right here. So I got my inside done. And also, now I just have to mount that together. And I got my lovely card. But see how bright that is. Those crystal are awesome. They come in six color. So we got... And the mango melody, we got the green, um, granny green apple, Bermuda Bay, gorgeous grape, melon mambo, and daffodil delight. And you're going to see a series of uh, cards doing with this. I love playing with this. For somebody that don't like bright color, I absolutely love this. So, so this is it, how to do your uh, frame. You can do this frame also with using ink if you wish. So that is it for now, my friend. Till next time, happy stamping. And again, all the supplies are going to be listed on my blog. You get the direct link below or above in the eye. And you can shop 24-7 if you're in the U.S. Thank you so much for your support. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.